Hey Gold Getters, welcome to the channel. Today we are going to be talking about six service-based businesses that you could start in Africa with very little money. If you aren't new to the channel, you would know we've been coming up with very interesting videos on businesses you could launch in Africa and make millions for yourself. But one thing I want to do today is to specialize in those businesses that are actually service-based. And by service-based, we simply mean businesses that are more of labor-intensive than capital intensive that is you need basically little money to get started and we are starting right now The first business I am going to be talking about here is cleaning service stroke relocation service. Yes, these two businesses often blend together very well because most often people who do cleaning services often also embark on relocation services. And the good thing with this business is that it's actually very cheap to start for. You don't need to be renting and you only basically need some essential cleaning equipment like vacuum cleaner and ironing equipment, cleaning overalls, cleaning gloves, and some cleaning products and you are good to start your business. Another advantage with this business is that it doesn't really need specific skills to get started. Once you've got your little capital to start off, you could just start and maybe recruit some one or two people. That is if you want to be more of passive in your business because that is actually another advantage with this business. It is very good for a side hustle because you don't necessarily need to be the one doing it. You just need to employ one or two or three youths to go about it with you and you just control from your home because you don't necessarily need to rent an office space or a shop somewhere. And the trick with this business is that unlike what people think, these services are so, so demanded, okay? A lot of people might think it's something very basic or not really relevant as a business, but it actually has a lot of value. Another advantage with this business is that you are going to be helping people to relocate from one home to another. And this is what you are going to be using as your selling point. You are simply going to be guaranteeing them that with your services, their equipment are safe, okay? Their glass tables will be transported with a lot of professional care, guaranteeing them safe arrival. And all the other home appliances are going to be nicely packed in boxes and transported all at once, making them spend less on transportation because with your relocation service, their things are going to be transported all at once using a container, okay? Most of those trucks usually use large containers that could actually incorporate everything you have in your home in one trip. I remember after building my home, living from my apartment to my house, I noticed how much luggage I had once I was about to relocate. A lot of you would agree with me that once you are renting an apartment that is a little bit smaller, you don't really notice that you've really got things until you are about to relocate. And that's exactly what happened to me, okay? I remember renting services of a pickup truck and since they are rented per round, I had to order for three rounds thinking it's going to actually carry everything in my home. But do you guys know that that pickup alone actually carried those luggages more than five times? That is, we had to make about six rounds, I think, for us to exhaust all the things we had in the house. And that wasn't enough because my husband also transported some of the things in the car boat and right inside the car and equally had to make more than three rounds for us to actually exhaust everything that was in our apartment. And I know you watching this video, if you are in Africa, right? Right now you know how much of those services are needed the next business i am going to be talking here about that basically needs little money is being a fitness instructor or gym instructor yes this is a service that is highly needed in africa right now a lot of people right now in africa take their health so so seriously that they actually hire the services of personal fitness instructors or gym instructors they pay for their services and you know they are paid per hour okay those are services paid per hour if you could get yourself trained as a fitness instructor, you are going to be making good money. For you could work as a personal fitness instructor and also at the same time get employed in gyms to offer your services as a gym instructor. And if you are a smart person, you don't necessarily need to be trained in a training center, okay, or a fitness center. So you know that you could actually learn most of those things online right now, okay? Even right here on YouTube, you could learn lots of things concerning fitness, okay? And also, there are 
are courses online that you could actually attend and actually get a certificate. So basically, the only thing you're going to be spending is a little cash for your training and that is it. You start making a good chunk of money for yourself by simply combining personal coach services and public coach services. Right here in Yaoundé, there are also a group of people who hire fitness coaches, okay? In my previous neighborhood, I remember my neighbors who used to subscribe in what they called quarter fitness groups and they would contribute money every month and pay for the services of a fitness coach to come and guide them during their exercise sessions. The next business idea here that doesn't really need a lot of money is events planning. Yes, if you could get trained as an event planner, and as I always say, if you are a smart person, you could do that online, okay? Never you underestimate the power of events planning in Africa, okay? This is a very powerful service-based business in Africa, and I am going to be giving you three main reasons why. And when we talk of events planning here, we are not talking of marriages alone, okay? We have some people who've been married for long and who are celebrating their anniversaries they need event planners we have people who are celebrating their birthdays people who are celebrating their promotions air barriers and many other occasions they need event planners from the sorting out of the equipment to the catering of the food the drinks positioning the invitees the MC and everything most times those things are handled by event planners hey come closer you are going to be needing little money to get yourself some essential stuff for your business but the rest of your items are actually going to be provided by your customers okay most event planners just lay their hands on the basics that they could show off on social media to let people know that they offer event planning services and the rest is actually being financed by their customers do you know that in africa as a norm and a tradition people celebrate three marriages we have what we call the traditional marriage which is a ceremony wherein the groom's family comes to pay the wife's bride price and we have the court wedding and thirdly we have the church wedding and who do you think they need to organize those three marriages event planners of course okay in Africa right now most couples want to have a wow ceremony for their marriage be it the traditional the court or the white wedding traditional weddings now youths go as far as hiring the services of event planners for their traditional weddings since traditional weddings are done now in cities as well okay unlike back in the days where it was always done in villages and they didn't see the need to maybe displace event planners for villages now some traditional weddings are being done in cities at times the family members just find their ways to the town and the ceremony takes place at the girl's father's house in town event planning if you don't know is one of the most lucrative service-based businesses out here right now okay africa has a lot of youths and the youths are getting married by the day do you know that in africa a lot of people get married now at the same time unlike before where you could go to, to a council and see maybe one or two weddings at most per weekend now in most councils every friday and saturday you could have more than five weddings per day and most cities even have more than 20 councils so you can do the math to just have an idea of the amounts of youths that get married per weekend who do you think those people sort out for their weddings event planners of course okay and event planning is also very lucrative in africa right now because unlike back in the days where african women used to mostly sit at home and have all the time to do their things a lot of african women are workers right now okay they have nine to five jobs they are doing and they often have bosses to report to they also have their family their kids their husbands to take care of so they don't really have that time to be planning their events by themselves and that's where the events planner steps in okay and most times you pay the events planner upfront or at least a percentage upfront and that's the money they actually use to personalize your wedding items most of those things are even rented and with your money okay the couple pays for the money upfront and that's what the events planner uses to pay for the things you see on those wedding days okay it is not necessarily the events planner who spends their money to buy those things and also we should understand that right now in africa a lot of youths like to go for high-end wedding parties okay they like to wow their guests with their weddings and they would go extra mile to pay what it takes to have their dream wedding and that leads us to our next service-based business here which is makeup 
okay? Makeup artists make a lot of money and it has to do with the previous point which has to do with weddings, okay? On wedding days, the brides don't choke with their appearance and especially their face, okay? They mostly beat their face to the maximum. And who do you think they need to look good? Makeup artists, of course, okay? So if you learn the skills of a makeup artist, you are going to be making good cash for yourself. All of the events I cited in the previous points are going to be needing your services because the bride is going to be needing your services three times also actually okay if a bride wants to go for her traditional marriage she will need a different type of makeup from you and her court wedding which is mostly during the day needs a different type of makeup as well and her evening party after the wedding needs a different type of makeup as well okay so you are going to be offering three different makeup services for one bride okay just do the math if you could lay your hands on only one bride each weekend i mean one bride which is small okay because if you market your services very well you could get more and more brides but let's take a case where you could lay your hands on only one bride per weekend one bride who has three makeups to be done on her face times four that gives you about 12 makeup services per month okay and we know makeup services are not cheap so if you can learn those skills and become a makeup artist you are sure to make money in africa the next service-based business here that is very lucrative in africa right now is obviously the interior decor service guys i can't emphasize on this enough because you guys already know why if you've been on this channel for some time now you would know that anything that has to do with real estate in africa right now is making people to cash out a lot and interior decor services is not an exception a lot of africans are spending huge budgets to make their homes look aesthetically pleasing this one is one of those businesses you are going to be spending a little bit more okay to learn the skills because interior decor is not really cheap okay you could spend an average of a thousand dollars but it's not that bad okay looking at the profit you are going to be making once you start exercising so this is a business that once you invest your money in you are sure to make money because the skills you are going to be learning is a very profitable one okay with this business you just need to know how to market yourself it's easy to make yourself known if you are smart okay for a start since you aren't known very well you could just go closer to your loved ones and make them pay for the material and you do the decor of their home for them for little or even no money no problem okay you need to start somewhere okay we always have humble beginnings in any business we do as a visionary entrepreneur you need to be capable of having humble beginnings once you do that you take good pictures and videos and put them on social media and that is how people are going to appreciate your services and start booking your services and also those relatives of yours obviously have friends and acquaintances who are going to be seeing your work once they come visiting in their houses and they are going to be asking questions who did this for you oh i love this i love that who did this for you and that's how they are going to be selling your market for you okay they could say oh this was done by my niece this was done by my daughter this was done by my sister-in-law and that's how you start getting referrals and we know there's no best way for growing a business than referrals okay once you start getting referred or you start getting referrals you are good to go that said think no more and go for interior decor training right now and now before i move to the next point please make sure to like this video and subscribe to the channel okay a lot of you have been subscribing but what you often forget to do for us which is very important is liking our videos okay please always do like our videos for that's the only way you could indicate to youtube that our videos are actually good and that would enable them share our videos much more and make the channel grow also if you are interested in helping making this channel grow you could subscribe to our membership okay it is always somewhere up here in our about page you could go there and subscribe to the memberships okay we've got different options for you and you scroll and see which one is more convenient for you and subscribe there to help the channel grow you could also get the link to our membership in the description of our videos for they are always there the next business that i am going to be talking about here is something that has to do with convenience because if you don't know a lot of businesses are popping up right now due to the fact that many people 
people go for convenience first before any other thing. So if you are a smart person and you know anything that could make the customer's life easier and less strenuous, think no more and start doing something about it, okay? That said, the business we are going to be talking here about is actually the mobile veterinary service. This business is directed to veterinarians, okay? If you're a veterinarian watching this video or you know any veterinarian, please share this video with them. This concept has to do with vets moving to their customers and taking proper care of their pets right at the comfort of their home. And this business is very lucrative because it is very convenient for the clients because they don't need to be displacing themselves with their pets and they just get their treatment right at the comfort of their home. And the advantage you have as the vet is that you don't necessarily need to rent a clinic, okay? You don't need to spend on rent at all. All you need to lay your hands on is a van and your pharmacy box and you could then start going from one client to another doing your services. You could also start with your car as well. Why not? If you can't lay your hands on a van, you could use your personal car because in any case, you aren't carrying the pets in your car. You just need to get any transportation facility that could take you to your clients as fast as possible because the fastness with which you are going to be reaching your client's destination to attend to their pets on time is going to go a long way to propel the success of your business. So with this business, you are going to be charged them a little bit more than the ordinary veterinary service because of your transportation facilities. The fact that you came to them, you could add a little bit of something for your transportation and that's how you're going to be cashing out, okay? They would rather pay you extra something than have to stress about with those pets. So here we have the six service-based businesses that you could launch in Africa and make some good cash for yourself. That said, thanks for watching this video and I will see you on my next one.